Hello students, welcome back to Jai Dev Academy. My name is Gandhi Kumar, I am physics faculty here. Today we are discussing about the concepts of the vectors and scalars. This is a very important topic for 11th class of physics. So take a uh, heading, concepts of, concepts of vectors and scalars. Okay, so actually before I am going to explain what is vector and what is scalars, first I wanted to give the definition about the vectors and scalars. So see, we already know we have physical quantities, physical quantities. These quantities are divided into these quantities are divided into two types. One is vector and another one is scalar. So now you can ask, sir, okay, so this is the vector and this is the scalar. But what is, sir, what is physical quantities? Let's take concept. So, key concept. Key concept Key concept about a physical quantity So what is What is a physical quantity What is Physical Quantities Before I am going to give a definition about the physical quantity, first I would I would like to give a, some example. So why I wanted to give an example? Because if I said the definition about the physical quantity, it is very difficult to understand. If I give an example, so you can remind or you can remember the life example to understand a physical quantity. So let's take a wonderful example a wonderful example that is moving car moving car on a road okay this is a moving car and this car is moving on a road see here we can say that car has a mass m yes and it's going means it has some velocity right it has some velocity right and after some time this car is also accelerate accelerate and see this is the car type this is these are the car types and this is the road so there is a, some friction between this car there is a friction between this car and road so this is a force of friction okay so the gravity is acted on this car so that's why the gravity is on downwards that is called a g and if the car is stops means if the car is rest the normal force is also acted on the car this is small capital n see here we got a different terms we got a different terms i am writing that is mass that is mass of car okay next we got a velocity next we have acceleration this is v right so this is acceleration This is acceleration represented with A and this is the frictional force. What is frictional force? The 
f is small f and this is gravity this is gravity represented with g this is normal normal force this is normal force that is capital g yeah. so if you see if you observe here so we got a different terminology to express the motion of the car on a road okay sir what is the velocity acceleration friction force and gravity is there only a physical quantity stone there are different types of physical quantity we are going to encounter during our course so why we have to take this terminology see an example see an example here i am giving a great example let's take a, a subject social okay take a subject a social in social we are going to use the social terminology like geography right history telugu lai ite dravyal banam charitra and vistarana uh, uh, there are we are going to use the different terminology to express the subject a social but when you come to english so in english english lo kuda mana different different terminologies use chestam so in english we are using some is or define uh, and uh, and some have a been present tense past tense like that the different terminologies we are going we are using in english subject so to study english we have to use some different terminologies similarly when you come to biology when you, when we come to biology so we use some terminologies like cells uh, a neuron mind brain okay so some or some like uh, the, some medical terminologies we are using to study biology similarly to study physics okay similarly to study physics to study physics we have to use the terminology the words which are related to physics those terminologies are called physical quantities so see in physics mostly in physics we are going to use mass velocity acceleration friction gravity force energy kinetic energy potential energy center of gravity electric force electric medium gravitational force magnetic force you know dielectrics electronic components volt like the different different physical quantities means the terminologies we are using in this physics subject those terms those words are called nothing but physical quantities hope you understand right physical quantities are nothing but the terms which are we are using to study subject physics those are called physical quantities actually this is the basic understanding definition this is not exact definition okay to for understanding i am giving this definition let's see here so these are the physical quantities let's write those physical quantities here i am writing those physical quantities here so one is mass okay wait here one is mass okay one is mass velocity acceleration and uh, friction temperature and uh, friction force etc sir are these only physical quantities no 
there are lot of different or uh, there are lot of physical quantities those physical quantities we are going to encounter completely during our course okay hope you understand let's see so how these physical quantities these are these are are represented into two different vectors and scalars see here i am writing some physical quantities here and some physical quantities here let's see under a vector category under a vector category i am writing some physical quantities velocity acceleration velocity velocity is represented v acceleration acceleration is represented like this force force is represented like this this is the representation of the force velocity acceleration let's come to the category of the scalar so let's see scalar is a mass m yeah. next temperature temperature t and some etc there are lots of physical quantities are there but we are not writing here okay we are going to encounter during our complete course of syllabus so let's see so now what is the using of vector and scalar wait don't worry i am going to give the definition of the vector and scalar but before that why we are taking this vector and scalar if you not understanding that concept you are not going to understand the concept of the definition of the vector and scalar let's see why we have to take a vector and scalar let's come to the next one see in our school like uh, 6th to 10th class right in our childhood we learn something algebra we are learn algebra calculation right algebra calculation we started we uh, we learn some algebra calculation so what are this algebra calculation see for addition 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 subtraction okay subtraction multiplication subtraction and multiplication right so these algebra calculations we already learned in our childhood so what are these algebra calculation okay let's see what is 1 plus 1 which is 2 okay what is 2 plus 2 for see here i am using here i am using addition plus what is 4 plus 6 This is equals to ten. So this is a addition. These are we already done in our sixth to tenth class. Okay, these are very small things. Next come to the subtraction. See, one minus one equals to how much? Zero. Six minus four equals to two. Eight minus two is sorry. We can write or differently. 2 minus 8 which is is equals to minus 6 see here here i use negative sign here i use negative signs so that's why this is the subtraction which subtraction in algebra calculations okay next come to the next come to the multiplication what is 1 into 1 which is 1 4 Times four, sixteen. Okay. Eight 
times 2, also 60. See here, here I use the multiplication symbol that is the cross in 2. Why I explain this algebra calculation? Because in physics, see here, because why I explain this in physics, in physics, in physics, we need to do some calculation, right? We have to do, we have to do calculation. We have to do calculations, right? Physics is a, we have to do calculation, we have to find some result. That is a physics. So, for that, we have to do some calculations by using algebra calculation. Okay. But, but, in our physical quantities, some are scalars, some are vectors. So, how we can calculate the scalar, how we can calculate the vectors? See, as the, as the algebra calculations, th this is the some mathematical, this is the some mathematical calculations, right? The same mathematical calculations, we can apply, we can apply algebra calculations, algebra, algebra calculations, calculations can use, can use calculations can apply can apply for scalar scalar quantities scalar quantities so what does this mean see if you take any scalar quantities scalar quantities are nothing but physical quantities we already know that so those scalar quantities, if you wanted to calculate the scalar quantities in physics subject, we have to use a mathematical approach which already we learn in 6th to 10th class. Okay? 6th to 10th class, mana ye mathematics I can age kunamo. Same mathematics, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, whatever it is, we have to use those calculations to calculate this to calculate these scalar quantities sir then what about vector sir then what about vectors then what about vector vectors ni ela calculate cheyali so that is the lecture of the today class so we need to learn a different mathematics we have to learn we have to we have to we have to learn we have to learn a different different mathematics that different mathematics is called vector calculus. Okay? So, so why we started this discussion? Because we have physical quantities, but we wanted to calculate those physical quantities in physics. But in sca scalar quantities, we can calculate as usual. We learn the algebra calculations. But while we are calculating the vectors, we are not using this 1 plus 1 is equals to 2 plus 2 is equals to 4 or 6 minus is equals to. We are not using these mathematical calculations, but we have to use a different mathematics. That different mathematics is called vector calculus. So now I am going to explain this different mathematics. Okay, please stay with me. This is very and easy or simple mathematics. If you don't know this mathematics, it is very difficult to uh, understand or calculate a physics. Okay, so before I am going to explain this different mathematics, 
I wanted to give a small difference between uh, scalar quantities and vector quantities. Let's see here. I am taking here. I am taking scalar. Here I am taking vectors. I already said. So which mathematics we have to use? Why we have to use different mathematics? Okay. See here. Why we use different math? Why use different math for vectors? Why? That is the answer. Now I am going to explain right now. Okay. See here. I am taking a small example. Wait one minute. Let's see. I am taking a small example. So take example one. This is also a question. Don't neglect it. This is also a question. Please uh, bear with me. Don't neglect it. Okay. Take an example of question. That is first question. That. So here they gave a diagram. Okay. The physics. They will give a diagram like that. Okay. They give this one, and this. What is this? This is a rectangle, right? This is a rectangle. This is rectangle. So this side is point point one meter. Sorry, this side is a one meter. This side is point five meter. Here he is asking. Calculate perimeter. Perimeter. See, actually, let's come to the physical quantities. Let's come to the physical quantities here. The physical quantity length. Length. Is also a scalar. Okay, why I I draw this length because now this word I encountered because this word I got here. See, this is a length. This is a side. Nothing but length, right? This is a length, right? From here to here, it has length of point five meters. From here to here, it has a length of one meter. So I got a physical term that is a physical quantity that is a length. I have to know that is this physical quantity is is under the category of the vector or scalar. We we know that this length is category of the scalar. So that's why I have to use the mathematics. To calculate, to find the perimeter of the rectangle, I have to use the concept of the algebra calculations. Okay, I have to use the concept of the algebra of the calculation. Right? Hope you understand why? Because this is a scalar. This is a scalar. Okay. See what is algebra calculations? One plus one is equals to two. Two into two is equals to four. Right, that is the algebra calculation. See, what is the perimeter? Perimeter is nothing but perimeter solution. Perimeter is nothing but sides of the rectangle. So four into one into four sides only. Okay, or we can write is side a one. Side A two plus side A three plus side A four. This is the perimeter of the rectangle. See here, 
So see, I am using uh, here. See, I use plus plus plus. What does this mean? This means I am using algebra calculation. Why? Because length is a scalar quantity. So here he is asking the perimeter of the rectangle. That is also scalar quantity. That's why to calculate the scalar quantities, I have to use the mathematics of the algebra. Okay. See here. A1 is nothing but see this this take this one A1 and this is A2 and this side is A3 and this side is A4. A1 is 1 meter. Okay. 1.0 meter. A2 is 0 0.5 meter plus A3. A3. This is the 1 meter. The sides are equal. So this is also this is also 1 meter. Okay. A3 also 1 meter plus this is the 0.5 meter. This side and this side is equal. So this side is also 0.5 meter. Okay. This is also 0.5 meter. See, if you calculate all this, we got 3 meters. Okay, this is the perimeter. This is the perimeter. Please be careful. Don't forget this result. This result is going to be play very important role while discussing about the definition of the scalar. Let's come to the vector concept. So this is a very interesting thing. So why we are not using this uh, algebra calculations in vector quantities? Let's take, let's take an example. This is a great example. I, this is a very uh, great example. Let's take an example, a rocket. Okay. This, oh, sorry. Mm, okay. Take a rocket. Take a rocket. This is an example of a rocket. Okay, okay, something okay. This is a rocket. Okay. Okay, this is a rocket has some fuel. Okay. We already know we are there there is a three types of uh, uh, burning stages in rocket. Okay, we are not going to discuss this. This is the rocket. Rocket is going, rocket is going like this. This is the path of rocket. This is the path of rocket going to atmosphere. Right? So, if we want to do the direction of the rocket, we have to take a point anywhere on the anywhere on the path. We have to take uh, we have to take a point anywhere on the path, and we have to draw a tangent. This tangent will give the direction of the rocket and this is nothing but velocity 1. Okay sir, what is this tangent? What is this path? What is this point? So we are going to learn this concept in mathematics also. Don't worry, just for understanding, I am giving this velocity. Okay? Don't worry. This is the path is going like this. This is the rocket path and this is the velocity. Let's take uh, next one. I am taking a car. Another example, I am taking a car. So previously I took the car. See here. See here. Same here. I am taking a car. Okay. Here I am taking a car. Car is going. The car is going like this. This is also velocity A2. Now, I wanted to calculate what is the total velocity of the rocket and car. Okay? So, what is the total velocity? So, what is so 
So what is total velocity bit of V1 and V2? Okay. V1 ki V2 ki rundi velocity is koni. What is the total velocity of the car? So let's take example. This velocity is 190 meter per second, and this velocity is just 10 meter per second. Let's take just example, okay? So see, e rocket ki velocity, e rocket velocity, n to the rundi ki velocity kalu to n to the ni. This is the our question. Actually, what we know, if you don't know mathematics, if you don't know mathematics, what we will do? The total velocity, the total velocity of the both of car and vector, sorry, car and the rocket, we take as this is the vector 1 and velocity 2. So then we calculate this is as 190 plus this is 10. <coughs> This is 10 that is equals to 200 meter per second. Maybe some people will do this, but this is absolutely this is absolutely wrong. Why? Because velocity we learn velocity as a vector quantity, not a scalar quantity. We already discussed that. For vector calculus, for vector quantities, we have to use different mathematics other than algebra mathematics. So this is algebra, we are not use algebra. But for scalar quantity, we have to use algebra calculus, algebra equation, algebra, uh, no, we have to use algebra calculations. So that's why this answer is wrong. So why this answer is, is wrong? Because because see here i am also giving further reason because take second i am doing so this is a vector so i am taking the car velocity as a like this this is the v2 and this is the rocket velocity this rocket velocity is going like this car is going like this rocket is going like this see that's why the rocket velocity is like this. This is V2. Sorry, this is V1. Okay. Clearly observe. This is going on ground. This is going in the air. So, if the take two, ve two velocities, one is going like this, one is going like this. If you observe, there is a, there is a angle difference between these two velocities. If you wanted to calculate the vectors, we have to also remind, we have to, we have to also include that term theta value. This is called angle between, this is angle between these two velocities. Okay, so that's why, that's why here we use velocity 1, velocity 2, velocity of the car, rocket, velocity of the car, but here we are not use the theta value. We not included theta value because this is the normal algebra calculations. But when we come to the vectors, we have to use. We have to use. So here in vector we have we are not using that uh, total vector. We have to use resultant vector. Okay, we have to use resultant vector. Okay, so that is equals to v1 plus v2 okay something terminology some i don't know what is that something which is associated with the theta see here i used here theta also i included here theta also but here i need i not using include i not included included theta here so that's why this algebra concept is wrong in vector concept. This algebra, this vector calculus concept is right in vectors quantities. Hope you understand. That is the difference. Okay. So this we are 
is called this vr is called resultant resultant vector okay the resultant vector is nothing but this one the resultant vector is nothing but this one i will explain it okay don't worry okay now you got the point why we have to use the vector calculus to calculate the vectors why we are using the normal algebra calculation for scalars okay let's take a small example so let's take a small example so that is yes this, this is the end of the class take one example okay end of the class take example last example okay write down the thermal the temp the maximum the maximum and uh, minimum the maximum and minimum temperatures of temperatures of particular day or one is 35.6 degrees celsius and another one is 24.2 degree celsius respectively find the difference what he is asking find the difference difference in temperature see here observe here so this is the very important here he is asking maximum and minimum and he gave the two two values and he said respectively so what is the meaning of respectively here actually if the respect is given after after the values that means whatever the maximum whatever the term physical term is given that first physical term is associated with the first value the second physical term is associated with the second value when if they give respectively if they if he didn't mention the respectively we can take whatever for maximum you can take 24.2 you, your wish for minimum you can take something we don't know okay you can you take when they give respectively first to term first value second term second value okay that is the respective okay that is the meaning of respective see here the maximum solution so maximum temperature maximum temperature that is t max which is is equals to 35.6 degrees celsius and uh, minimum temperature that is t min which is is equals to 24.2 degree celsius so how we can calculate this be careful what is the physical quantity here the physical quantity is temperature is the temperature is the scalar or vector what yes temperature is a scalar quantity so this is a scalar quantity this is a scalar quantity so that's why first scalar quantity what we have to use for scalar quantity we have to use algebra algebra ek calculation right hope you understand so here so algebra calculation we have to use ikkada difference alugutunadu what difference means minus 
So difference uh, difference is nothing but difference is higher temperature that is T max minus H minus algebra calculation because this is a scalar and T minimum T minimum so that implies 35 point six degree centigrade minus twenty four point two degree centigrade. So what is the value here? We got four point one one. We got eleven point four degree centigrade. See here. Please, uh, T difference. This is the temperature difference. Okay. Be careful. And don't forget. This result is also going to be play very and very important role in our next research. Okay. So this is a calculation of the scalar quantity. Okay. So in next class, so we are going to see how we can we have to learn. The vector calculation mathematics to calculate the vector quantities okay hope you understand so please go through the uh, uh, concept what i explained here and don't forget to solve the examples okay we are going to explain we're going to learn a lot of examples in our discussion of that class thank you very much we will meet in the next class